Welcome to NG and the Luton and Dunstable University Hospital. In this short presentation, we will give you a brief induction into NG, the Luton and Dunstable University Hospital, and our partnership contract together. We will give you a look at the wider NG world and tell you about the company you are now working for. We will also give you a brief history of the hospital and how NG's contract with the Trust works and how we work in partnership to provide excellent care to the patients that visit the hospital. NG is based in France and is the world's biggest independent utility company. We employ 155,000 people around the world, providing and supplying energy generation, gas, hydroelectric power, nuclear power, facilities and property services, and support services. There are 20,000 NG employees across the UK alone. We sit in the services division, which is split into central government, cities and communities, private sector, and healthcare and education. We work within healthcare and education, and this in turn has divided the UK into three regions, with 3,160 staff working across them. We are in the southern region, and in our region there are five hospitals located in London, Cardiff and Worcester, and this includes this hospital and five groups of schools. When you work for an organisation, it is important to understand the values and the culture of the organisation. Our core values and culture are to improve the lives of the communities and customers that we serve, leading the way in innovative services and sustainable energy solutions for our chosen markets. To deliver in our partnership, we must make sure we work as one team. To do this, we need to make commitments to you, and these are, we will provide the right people with the right training, provide our people with the right tools and equipment, ensure zero harm to our employees, visitors, trust staff, and patients. We will value our diversity and our colleagues. At NG, we want to develop a don't walk by culture where if you see something wrong, stop and help or take action. If you see a visitor is lost, stop and help them find their way around the hospital. If you see litter on the floor, stop and pick it up. Don't ever think it's someone else's job. So let's look closer at the hospital where we all work. The Luton and Dunstable Hospital was first built in 1872 and the current hospital was built in 1932 with additions to continuously update the site. In the next few years, the Trust will undergo another large redevelopment to introduce a new main entrance and concourse. The Trust has 3,600 staff and the hospital serves two main towns, Luton and Dunstable, and serves an area with more than 350,000 people. So we have a large responsibility to the local community and we have a very important role to play. There are 600 beds, but this can increase to 650 as needs require and the hospital has the best performing accident and emergency department in the NHS in the UK. In January, we were visited by the Care Quality Commission, the CQC, who are charged with ensuring standards across the NHS, and the Trust were rated a good hospital. To put this achievement into perspective, only 1% of all hospitals achieve the excellent standard. Only 36% achieve good, and the remaining 65% are rated as poor and inadequate. We all want to work together to make sure we are in the top 1% next time round. The Trust's key objectives are to deliver the best clinical outcomes, a reputation for providing safe care and high quality treatment, care and diagnostics at the time of need. They want to achieve this by making sure that we are putting the patient first, delivering excellent clinical outcomes, improving patient safety, delivering to quality and performance targets, working to budgets, and seeing diversity of people as a strength. NG and the Trust have entered into a five-year partnership, and we now deliver services on-site, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And every day of the year we deliver patient catering services, housekeeping services, domestic services, restaurant and retail services, and groundskeeping and pest control services. Our outcome is the same as the hospital. We must put the patient first. We are here to keep the hospital clean and ensure that the patients, staff and visitors are properly catered for. 
Domestic staff are the first line of defence by providing a clean and safe hospital by delivering strict hygiene, cleanliness and the first step in infection control. Patient and visitor catering provide a key step in patient care, aiding recovery by ensuring that patients, staff and visitors have choice, appropriate and nutritious food served in the right place at the right time. Site procedures. There are some key rules and responsibilities we need you to be aware of and follow at all times. Fire procedure. The Trust has a fire procedure everyone has to follow. In the event of a continuous alarm, you need to stop what you are doing, pack away your cleaning equipment into your trolleys, make sure any of your equipment is out of the way and not blocking the walkways, and then head to your nearest fire assembly point. Zero harm. If an accident occurs, even if you only witness one, you need to report it to your supervisor or line manager. No matter how small or insignificant you might think it is, we want to know. That way we can make sure these little incidents don't develop into something more serious. We all have a responsibility to look after ourselves and each other. Sign in, sign out. It is your responsibility to make sure you sign in and out for work. If you don't, your pay will be affected. This also applies to completing timesheets as required. Uniform guidelines. Once you are issued with a uniform, you must wear it and make sure that you are presentable. You must be bare below the elbow, which means that you must wear the short sleeve top provided. No watches or other jewellery are allowed and only a wedding ring is permitted. For housekeepers, you need to make sure your hair is tied back and hats or hairnets must be worn at all times. Equipment. You will be issued equipment for your job role and you must take responsibility and look after any equipment you are provided. Make sure that they are clean and tidy at the end of your shift so it is ready for the next person. You also need to make sure your chemicals are stored correctly with lids and tops securely fastened and in a locked storage cupboard. You will also need to ensure that stores and cupboards are secure and locked at all times. Smoking policy. The Trust operates a zero tolerance policy to smoking and all staff must go to a designated area to smoke. These areas are at the front of the hospital and the back of the maternity block. If you do choose to smoke, you must make sure your uniform is covered up at all times. Thank you for watching this film. If you have any questions, please direct them to your line manager before starting your shift.